This is a tutorial on how to define a video clip from a DVD to be displayed through Easy Worship. This is Easy Worship version 2007 and currently in the schedule a PowerPoint is the only item that is queued up to be presented. The idea is to import the clip into the database so it can be used in the schedule to be presented at a certain time during the Sunday service. If I was to click on the PowerPoint, you will see the slides in this PowerPoint are elevations and site plans and the floor plans for the proposed church which was used for the Planning Commission. We want to add the DVD clip as part of the media presentation. We have three tabs, songs, scriptures, and media. We click on the media tab and the default tab down here, there are four of them, are the various forms of media that can be presented as part of the schedule. The default tab is videos. These are videos that reside on the computer's local hard drive and are linked into the database. Currently there is only one video in Easy Worship on this computer which has uh, been predefined in the database. And I can drag this one up if I wanted to and prepare to present it, but that's not the function that we're going to do right now, so I'm going to remove it from the schedule. What I want to do is select the DVD tab down here at the bottom and I'm going to click, you know, before I click add, you'll notice that there are no thumbnails in this window. If I insert a DVD that has been previously defined in Easy Worship, a thumbnail will appear at the time that DVD is available, signifying that it is a, an available asset to be added to the schedule. So I'm going to click Add, and this is a video player basically, which has the mark end point and mark out point. That's the start point and end point. And now what we see here is the menu. Now this DVD that we currently have has only one chapter, which will make it very easy to prepare. We have to give it a name. This was Baptism 2005. We don't set a thumbnail until we get the video playing, which represents what the video contains. That thumbnail that we select will actually show up in this little preview window here. So I'm going to click on the button to start the chapter. I'm going to pause this. I clicked on the mark N. Actually I want to... Okay, I'll click on the mark N and the beginning position of the clip is 1.09. You saw me move the slider clear to the left after I paused it to make sure I begin the clip at the very beginning of the chapter. The clip end position is the end of the chapter. Since that's all we want to show is the chapter, um, the clip is actually defined at this point. However, if there's credits or something at the end of the chapter that you don't want to show in the presentation, you can click play. Drag the slider. And you would hit mark out if you're at a point where you wanted to stop the video. What I want to do is find a thumbnail that looks like a baptism. And here we are into the baptism phase. First you saw the picnic. And 
there's a thumbnail that we could use. I clicked on that. I'll click it again. Okay, what we have here is a thumbnail that represents the beginning of a baptism. So basically we are done. The end point is the end of the chapter. If I drag this clear over. You see the current position is 413 and this shows 432. So that's it. I click OK. And now you see a thumbnail residing in the clips area, clips preview. Now I can drag this thumbnail up into the schedule, save the schedule. If I want to, I can actually preview the video. Okay, so that is working. Now, when we go live, by the way, this is usually this button here is usually pressed in, but I have it out for demonstration purposes so I don't use all my resources of the computer. Okay, I'm going to click go live. And now on the projector, you will be seeing the actual image. If you don't hear any sound, make sure that this little speaker icon appears as you see here. If I click this with no lines coming out of it, it's muted. So you want to make sure the speaker shows these little lines coming out. If you want to continuously loop the video, let's say it's before a service, you can click that. And what it will do is automatically rewind and continuously loop the video. But in normal services, we don't loop the video. And that's how you prepare a single chapter video. Later on, I'll do a video that shows you how to do multi-chapter video and select various chapters and starting and stopping points.